comunicarse entre las granjas y también para asustar a los osos, ¿no? Cuando se acercaba de la granja. Pero tenías que tener buenos pulmones, se lo veis. Mirad. The next dance we're going to show now is a really old dance, and it's from uh, this area of Kjellemark, where all these houses are from. And we call it the walking dance, or a gangar in Norwegian. It's uh, basically uh, the walking with a lot of arm movement. It's a bit more slow than the uh, one you saw before. Este baile que van a hacer ahora es de la misma zona que son estas caras que es de Telemar, que está al sur de Noruega. Y este baile se llama el baile andando. Vais a ver que es mucho más lento que el que han bailado anteriormente. Es como de paseo, un baile paseando.
small juice harp, a jaw harp. It's a small instrument we have in Norway. It's an important piece of Norway. About a thousand years ago with Viking. Originally it comes from some place in Asia. You can find these instruments all over the world. Es un arpa que llegó hace mil años atrás desde Asia. Y ya está en muchas partes de Europa. What makes these instruments so curious is the fact that it makes no sound by itself. When you press the bark against your teeth, there are vibrations from the spring sort of transfers into your skull and it starts to pounce in the resonance chamber. So that's how you get the sound. We're going to do uh, one last dance for you guys. We're going to do a younger dance. It's only about 150 years old. Uh, it's called Rheinland. Uh, named after uh, uh, Rheinland in Germany. Uh, and there's a lot of variations of this dance around in Europe. So if you're familiar with uh, some European dances, maybe you could recognize something. This is a baile de Italy and Alemania, but it also dances in many parts of Europe. Que seguramente alguno lo puede reconocer de otras partes de Europa este baile. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank